All right, folks, if you own an AR or if you own multiple ARs, uh, go ahead and make a video, post it as a video response. I'd like to see this become a resource, so to speak, of many different people with many different ARs. People can come over, look at this video, look at all the video responses, and see the uh, modularity that this rifle has and see just the variety. Maybe it'll give them ideas if they want to customize their AR. So if you got an AR collection, post it up. Even if it's just one AR or if it's 10 ARs, go ahead and post them up. You don't have to talk about them too much, just show them. And people will get ideas because that's what uh, the whole point of this video is about. Just for somebody that's watching casually, if they just bought an AR and they're wondering what in the heck I'm going to do with it, uh, you know, they can look at this video and go, hey, that's kind of a neat idea. So in any case, here's mine. And uh, we'll start off with my newest one. Of course, I already talked about this guy right here. Bushmaster Varminter. Uh, 5.56, 24-inch barrel. Got a cheap Chinese NC Star uh, 3 by 9 by 50 scope. That'll change in the future. The next in line is my M16A4 uh, customized AR. Complete with the rail rail covers, the ACOG, uh, Trijicon ACOG, 3x5x35 by by uh, millimeter scope. Very awesome rifle. I really like that rifle. Uh, in my opinion, that's one of the best configurations for a full-size AR. It's just totally mean. Uh, that's just me personally. I've always been partial to the A4 design, so that's why I went ahead and got one. Next up, I really like these little guns too, is the carbine length ARs, this is a 16 inch. You can see I got it uh, geared up to be totally lightweight, sticking with what I feel I absolutely need. And I uh, really like that handguard by the way, abarms.com, check them out. That's one of the better uh, handguards I've seen out on the market. Some people don't like them, but I surely do. Alright, next up is my rimfire. Just because, you know, sometimes it gets expensive shooting 5.56 all the time. So, why not get a AR configured rimfire? Same manual of arms. Keeps your uh, technical skill high with the AR. Uh, the muscle memory stays when you're shooting a small little rimfire such as this because the operation is pretty much the same. This is a Smith & Wesson M&P 1522 with a little bit of goodies on it. I threw some rail covers on cheap vertical grip. Uh, that's an NC Star Mark III uh, four power scope. Real inexpensive scope. Perfect for rimfire type rifles. So anyway, there it is. I encourage all you guys to post out your collections. Put them on here and I don't care if you like my channel or if you're a hater of my channel. I don't care who it is. Whatever video responses you put up, I'm going to go ahead and accept. Because like I said, the goal is to just have kind of a resource. You know, somebody can click on this video and then he'll see all, he or she will see all the video responses. They can go ahead and click through the video responses, see the plethora of AR customizations out there. And he or she can get a better idea on uh, what they may want to do with their particular AR. So, all right, I'm going to keep it short. There it is. There's my four fun little ARs. And thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe.